Our Climate Smart Landscapes project carried out watershed protection work using traditional Fijian agroforestry systems and soil conservation to enhance community resilience to climate change in six upper watershed communities in Ba Vitilevu, Fiji Islands. Hello. Um, on behalf of uh, Center for Sustainable Technology and Development, CSTD, at FNU, we feel really proud that we've uh, been finalists for the Green Gums Award and uh, that this project has been shortlisted to, uh, uh, to the point where we need to explain a little bit about it and uh, feel happy about that. Yes, what was done on the project was uh, we installed uh, six tree nurseries, one main nursery in Navala Village, and five other satellite nurseries that were called smaller scale satellite nurseries uh, for native plant tree propagation and, uh, and, and seed production in Nadrugo, Nakaraboya, Nanoko, Koro, and Bukuya. Fijian traditional agroforestry systems are the best way to protect vulnerable watersheds in the upper reaches of Ba watershed, which is one of the most vulnerable to hillside degradation, deforestation, soil loss, flooding, and landslides in central Viti Levu. The main objectives of this training is to conduct uh, awareness to the communities for them to understand the the functions of trees and forests in their everyday lives and also how does the forest affect climate change or the, how does they work together with climate change. Uh, it is very important, it is a community based uh, we are empowering the communities with the sorts of information so that they can make sound decisions in terms of uh, land degradation and also on uh, how to adapt and mitigate climate change. Community resilience to climate change was achieved through implementing Trainer of Trainers TOTS program in six upper watershed communities. Six tree nurseries were built, over 300 hectares of native trees were planted, 100 hectares were planted with veriva grass, nitrogen fixing trees for soil stabilization and soil conservation measures were implemented as well. We encourage the community to, to do a lot of planting, uh, for them to start off with a pioneer species that can take over the land, and then later they have to consider the use of species like the species that they can use from bores, plant, uh, building bores, uh, medicinal plants, also the commercial species, and the species they can use to control soil erosion, and also for the water protection species. The initiative was groundbreaking, cost-effective and practical in Fiji in terms of gender-based empowering of men and women to implement for themselves climate-smart landscapes that incorporate climate change, adaptation and reduction of carbon dioxide emissions through the planting of native tree species. The project used traditional agroforestry systems for soil conservation and recovery of native tree species, which is important for the Aitoke indigenous communities, culturally and spiritually as well. Yes, yeah, speaking about the uh, stakeholder involvement in the project is really, really important. We developed a training of trainer program specifically to help propagate or to help uh, build awareness to the communities or through the communities. The trainers themselves trained others and that helped uh, initiate a, a sort of a, a replicative effect or a, or a multiplicative effect. So a lot of the communities developed their own initiatives, their own planting programs, their own planting, uh, uh, planting plans through Matangali contracts, etc. But also the, the, um, the uh, stakeholders that were involved also continued their work. The Forestry Department, uh, others like Nature Fiji and the Ministry of the Environment obliged uh, you know to go out and help them but at the same time uh, they put them in they, they put that particular activities in their own programming which is very important for stakeholders to continue that uh, we feel very proud that um, that the communities actually did that and also very proud that uh, uh, the green gups and uh, the Center for sustainable technology development uh, are involved with this project at this time <laughs>